Hi, I'm Brian with Whistler, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at one of our dash cameras. This is the D28RS, and as you can see, this uses a different design than most of our dash cameras. The base is going to adhere to the windshield, and then the camera is going to connect to the base using a magnetic attachment. This makes it very quick and easy to connect and disconnect the camera whenever you need to. It does record video in full 1080p high definition, and the included 8GB SD card will give you about an hour of recording time. The camera also has built-in Wi-Fi, which allows you to use the companion app, which is available on Android and iOS, to review the video files that you've recorded. The uh, built-in GPS also is going to record the date, time, and location where the videos were recorded. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this box open and take a look at what's inside. Alright, so the first thing we're going to take a look at here is the owner's manual. Uh, this book contains all the information and instructions that you need to operate the camera, so you do want to make sure that you give this a read first. Okay, and we've also got a USB cable. Uh, this can be used to connect your camera to your computer if you need to download and back up copies of any video files that you've recorded. And we've got the power cord here. This is going to plug into the 12 volt outlet in your vehicle, and then the other end is just your standard mini USB cable to provide power to the camera. Uh, the base is the part that's going to attach to your windshield, and it comes with an adhesive all ready to go for you. And then we do include a backup piece if you need it. And then we've also got the camera here that's going to record all your videos, and that does connect to the base like we discussed earlier with the magnetic attachment, just like that, and disconnects the same way. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the features of the camera. All right, so we've got our camera here, and if you look on the bottom of the camera, there's four silver buttons. Uh, the button over here on the left is the menu button, and then we have our two arrow keys in the middle to navigate through the menu, and then over here on the right is the OK button, which is going to confirm your menu selections. On the left side of the camera is the power button, so we'll go ahead and press that and turn the camera on. And then as you can see, when the camera power is on, it starts recording automatically. Uh, down the left side of the, the screen here, we have several other icons. Uh, we have our GPS indicator, which is red right now because I don't have a GPS signal. Once we do acquire satellites, it will turn green. Uh, we have our exposure setting, as well as our frame rate and our resolution. And then down at the bottom here, we have the SD card indicator showing us we do have a card in the camera. And then that, that the battery is being charged. Uh, across the bottom of the camera here, we've got the date and time. And then over on the right side, we have a microphone showing us we're recording audio. And then we have the other icon showing us that the Wi-Fi is turned on. Okay, so there's a couple of settings that you're going to need to get into when you first get your camera out. We're going to need to set the date and time, and we're going to need to format the SD card. Uh, to do that, the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that the video is not recording. So if it is recording, we're going to reach down here and hit the OK button to stop it. And then to get into the menu, we're going to press the menu button. Now, the first time we press it, it'll come up, it'll say movie mode at the top. If we press the menu button one more time, it's going to switch over to say settings. Once we're in this menu, we can use the arrow key to go through the options. And we want to look for the option where it says clock settings. Once we're on that option, hit the OK button. And you'll see the values are highlighted. Uh, the value that is highlighted is the one that we're currently editing. And so we'll use our arrow keys to adjust those values up and down. And then use the OK button to, to uh, cycle through the different options. Once we've got everything set, we get down to the end, the OK is highlighted, hit the OK button one more time, now the date and time are set. So we go ahead and continue arrowing down through the options, and we're going to look for the next one that says Format SD Card. Once we're on that option, we hit the OK button. It's going to come up and give us a warning here, and it says that all data will be deleted. So we want to make sure that any video files that are on the camera, it's okay to erase those because this will erase all of them. So we want to move our arrow key over to say yes. We hit the OK button and it gives us the indicator the SD card is formatting and then the formatting is complete. Once that's done, it goes back to showing the menu. And then what you can do to exit the menu is tap the power button one time. Once you're back on this screen, you can go ahead and hit the OK button to resume recording. Now you're ready to start driving. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the app. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is go into your owner's manual, and on page 19 there's a QR code that you can scan, and that'll take you to the store where you can download the app. Uh, next, we want to make sure that we do have the camera nearby and powered on, and then you'll go into your phone's settings and into your Wi-Fi settings. Look for a Wi-Fi network called Whistler D28RS. 
When you connect to that network, it's going to ask you for a password, and that password can be found on page 28 of your owner's manual. All right, now that you're connected to the network, go ahead and open up the app, and you'll see this screen here. And then you're going to go ahead and click on the button here where it says, Get into my DVR. Uh, once you do that, it's going to bring up this screen. You'll get a live feed from the camera. And then down here at the bottom, you do have an option where you can capture still pictures or capture video. Uh, but if you want to review the video files that have already been recorded, you can click on this icon here to play back video. Once you do that, it's going to bring up a list of all the video files that have been recorded. And you've got two folders here, the normal and the event. Uh, most of your video files will be here in the normal folder. Uh, but if we switch over to the event folder, this is going to be any videos that have been locked either manually or due to the G sensor. If you want to play back one of these videos, simply click on the icon and then click on the play button. Okay, so this has been the D28 RS dash camera from Whistler. Uh, you can check out more of our products at our website, that's whistlergroup.com. Or for more product videos, head on over to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.